So it's been a few months since my last video on research, and I realized that a lot of my demos and screenshots tend to be about my entire library. It's got a ton of categories in it, it's got hundreds of items that I've added over many months, and this can certainly look quite intimidating to build up to on the outset. So today I want to roll it all back, show you what it looks like on day one, and essentially guide you through setting up this app from scratch and show you how easy it is to use. So to get started, I'm going to reinstall the app. If you were to install Research today and it had nothing in it, this is what it would look like. You'd have an empty Recent section, and you'd have a single category called Uncategorized. Now, I built this app because I wanted to read more research and create a workflow around this process with AI that lets me use it to create summaries about what I was trying to read, be able to have back and forth conversations about the things I was trying to understand, and essentially make this whole process of reading and understanding research as efficient as possible for myself. To get started, all you really need is a research paper that you want to read right now. So let's head over to Archive and find something for us to read. Maybe let's go with uh, Discrete Mathematics here, and over here let's pick the second paper. I'm going to copy the link, hit the plus button up top, paste my link, and click Add. What this does is essentially download the paper, pass it, and add it to this category. Now I'd really like to have this in a category called Computer Science, so I'm going to create one. You can really call these whatever you'd like. I'll change the color here as well, and I'll move this over. Now, if you had already downloaded some PDFs, you can simply add those files as well. Just select them, and it'll do the same thing. So now that we've added something, I'm going to click on it to open it. It'll open up the PDF view that allows me to read it. Up top here, you're going to have your item info menu that lets you update things like the title, authors, abstract. You can even do things like change the color of the paper to whatever you prefer. And before I start diving into a paper, I really like to read a high-level summary of it. So I'm going to open up the Notes and Annotations window. And over on the Ask AI tab, I'm going to hit Summarize. This window opens separately so that I can have it side by side as I'm reading. It really makes it easy to go back and forth. Now that I have a summary, I can start diving into the paper. I can highlight anything I'd like uh, to make a note of, and they'll show up in my Annotations tab. And let's say as we are going through this, um, we want to dive into something specific, um, have a question about something maybe. For example here, what is NP-complete? So I'm going to highlight this uh, sentence over here, add a highlight, and ask the AI what is NP-complete. And this essentially just sends over this file and the question to the AI, and it's going to try and answer your question to the best of its abilities. And as you can see, it answered that fairly intelligently. I can save it for later. And as you are going through the paper, you might want to take some notes, which is what the Notes tab is for. You can type down whatever you'd like. You could even generate some notes as a starting point. Um, I like to tell people that AI can still get things wrong, so it's really important to double check things it says and really use it as a starting point as you're going along. So that's really all there is to getting started with research. You simply add a paper that you want to read and you can dive into it right away. So now that I've shown you that, let me go back to my full library and show you a little bit more of the details in this app. So over on my main library here, let me show you a couple more details. You can actually choose to view items in categories as rows. All you need to do is right click on the surface of a category and click on show as rows or show as cards. And I actually prefer to see them as rows, so I'm going to leave it like this. Research also has a reading list uh, that lets you essentially queue up any items that you want to read and keep a reading list for yourself. All you need to do is right click on an item. Uh, oh, this is already in my reading list, so here I'll just add it to my reading list and it'll show up here. Research also has something called a discovery feed. What this is, is essentially uh, research goes out and looks at a couple of sources every single day and finds new research papers that have been published today. 
You can click on the filter icon up, uh, up top here. You can select some categories that interest you. And every day you're going to see a bunch of new papers show up here. If you find anything interesting, you could essentially click on it to see a summary of it. Uh, you can hit the plus button up here and select a category to download it to. You can simply click the arrow after it's downloaded and it'll be ready to go. You can search your entire library by either hitting the search button up here or hitting command K. Uh, you can very quickly sort through anything and hit enter. It'll open up the item. And that's really all there is to it. All you need to do to get started is have a research paper that you want to read, create a new category, add it, and get started. And eventually you'll end up with a library as busy as mine.